Hello! Today I am bringing you the mid-year book freak out tag because yesterday was officially the midpoint of 2017. We are officially closer to 2018 than we are 2016. What is that? So, there will be a link to the original videos in the description. I know it's two but I can't remember who they are. Sorry! So, let's just get started because there's a lot of questions. So, book one. Best book you've read so far? The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. Like, not even like... Without a doubt, this was absolutely stunning. This book was a masterclass in politics, religion, fantasy, and war, and how to combine it all perfectly in a single volume that blew my mind. This was, without a doubt, the best book I've read so far this year. Question two, best sequel you've read this year? And I've only read, I haven't read many sequels, I'll admit, but the best sequel by far is Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. This book took Lady Midnight and then raised it a bar, like, it really l jumped the dark artifices to a new level. I thought the characters were so well developed, I thought the plot was amazing, and the intricacies that you kind of see in more adult fiction were really included, it was really well developed, and I just thought it was a really stunning sequel, and the ending was majestic, can we just? So, Lord of Shadows, without doubt. Question three, new release you haven't got to yet, but you still really want to. I think the only one, uh, I mean there's a couple, but I think Release by Patrick Ness. I really do want to read that because I do enjoy Patrick Ness's books for the most part. I just haven't read many of them, so I would like to read that. Or Openly Ben by Bill Konigsberg, which I really want to read because I really, really enjoyed Openly Straight. But I've seen like more about the synopsis and I'm a little bit dubious about it. So, we'll see. Question four. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year. That goes to The Ship of the Dead by Rick Ryden. Because I'm so pumped for that book. It's the last book in the Magnus Chase series. And I'm going to be heartbroken when it's over. Because I love it so much. But it's going to be really fun. And it comes out in October. And I'm so excited. Question number five. Biggest disappointment. Conversely to my favourite read, it is White Sand by Brandon Sanderson. This is a graphic novel based on a book that he wrote when he was in college, and I just didn't get on with it. Like, the more I reflect on it, the less I enjoyed it. Like, the art's pretty, the story is fun, it just doesn't lend itself, I think, to the graphic novel form. I think if this was a book, I would have loved it. That's just a real shame that this is what we get instead, which just sounds awful, because I know loads of people love graphic novels. I just, it's just not for me. This one was not for me, so, biggest disappointment. Question number six, biggest surprise. And that goes to The Gunslinger by Stephen King, because I really was not sure about this. It is such a weird mix of dystopian, western, sci-fi, fantasy, that I was just like, how am I going to enjoy this? But I really did. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was really fun. I thought the character of the gunslinger, Roland, was really interesting and I liked where the plot is going, so I'm very excited to continue with the series. Question seven. Favourite new author? Debut or new to you? I could say Stephen King for this, or maybe Melissa Gray, but I think the one that I'm going to go with like a debut, and that is Simon James Green, the author of Noah Can't Even. I just thought this book was so funny. I was absolutely in hysterics. I'm not sure if it was intentional, but it makes me want to pick up other books by him to see if he keeps the humour, because I think he did a really good job of making this book funny. So, rarely I find a contemporary I like, and this was one of them. Question number eight, fav new fictional crush. I don't get fictional crushes because my life's too complicated. I don't need to add fictional crushes into it. Not going to happen. Question number nine, favourite new character. And I think for this... I'm gonna go with Dalinar from The Way of Kings because I loved Dalinar. I loved him so much. And Kaladin, I loved them too. I loved Dalinar. I love all the characters in this, but Dalinar I think is my favourite character from it. He is just so wise and so self-sacrificing. I just love him so much. <laughs> Question number 10, a book that made you cry. I've not read many books this year because had a slow start to the year and the only book that has made me cry was Noah Can't Even. It wasn't like 
There's one thing that happens in this book and I've had it happen to me in real life and I just teared up and I could feel the tears coming. So this one made me cry, which makes me feel really pathetic because it's a funny book, but it just hit me because it had that one moment that I could relate to. Question 11, a book that made you happy. I am going to go with, I could once again go with, no I can't even because it made me absolutely laugh, but I think I'm going to say The Dark Prophecy by Rick Riordan. I just adore Rick and I loved this book. I thought it was a really good entry to the Charles of Apollo. It's just a fun middle grade series and it just always makes me happy. Apollo as a narrator is really sarcastic and I think it's just something that agrees with me as a person. So this one made me happy because it was another Rick Riordan book and he is my fave. So... Question 12. Favourite book to t movie adaptation you've seen this year? I've seen a lot of films this year. I don't think I've seen a single book to movie adaptation. I don't think there's been a single one. That's a lie. On the 1st of January I saw A Monster Calls. So, I should, by default that is the only one and I did really love it but that is the only one I've seen. So, A Monster Calls, I hear. Even though it came out in the US in 2016, it only came out in the UK on the 1st of January, so... Kind of... eh. Question number 13. Favourite review you've written this year or favourite video you've done this year? I think my favourite review I've written is my Lord of Shadows review, because it's very gushy. And I actually posted that on my blog, so that one's really fun. And favourite video... I really like my bookshelf tour, I really like doing that, I really like posting all three parts, I thought it was really fun and I really like to see how my bookshelves were, because even since then they've changed because I've acquired more books. But I've tried to keep them about the same, so that's my favourite video. Question 14, the most beautiful book you've received this year? I've had to have a, like, a long think about this, but there is one book on my shelf that without a doubt I think is gorgeous. I think. The author is an awful person. I'm not even sure about what the series is about, but the cover and the book itself just makes me so happy. And that is Pathfinder by Orson Scott Card. I can't even tell you what it is. It's just so pretty. It's, I think it's the colour. I love blue as a colour, if you can't tell by my blue haul. I love the blue. I love the sword. I love the hardback edition. It is just so, so pretty. And it makes me so happy to own it, even though I haven't read it. And I don't like Orson Scott Card as a person, even though his name's embossed. And so is Pathfinder. It's just such a nice book. So nice. And I just love it. Question 15. Books you need to read by the end of the year. I did a whole video on this. There is loads of books I need to read by the end of the year. And so far I've managed to read The Way of Kings, which was on the list. I've just started Seeds and Storm, so I've got... Into, got further into the Grisha trilogy and I've made a little bit of progress. Not a lot, but I have made a little bit. I think my main goal needs to be to try and read books I own instead of buying more because I have a lot of unread books. So overall that's my goal of books I need to read. So thank you very much for watching. I will have another one up soon. So good. Bye.